Today, we're making a simple yet flavorful oyster amuse, and we're pairing it with apple mignonette, champagne gelée, horseradish cream, and foam. Let's get cooking. Champagne gelée. We're gonna take one sheet of gelatin, and we're gonna bloom it in some ice water. This is gonna take about three to four minutes. To a pot, we're gonna add 100 milliliters of champagne with 10 grams of sugar. Bring that up to a boil. Once that comes to a simmer, we're gonna take our gelatin out, squeeze out all the excess water. It should be nice and loose, and you're gonna melt it in the warm champagne. Then we're gonna pour this off into a container and place this into the fridge for an hour. This can also be done a day ahead of time. Chucking and cleaning. For the oysters, we have a passette with a linen-like towel. This is just to get out any of the sand. You can also use cheesecloth. Take your oyster. Towel makes it safer so you don't hurt your hands. Twist, pop. Slide your oyster knot down. Then release the abductor muscle. Next, we're gonna clean the oysters. You wanna use some sparkling water. The effervescent is gonna pull out any sand, dirt, shell, whatever it is. Just let them sit in there for a little bit. And any liquor you have, strain it off. As long as your water's dirty, I wash them again and again until the water's nice and clear. For me, that was four times. And then the last thing, we wanna check for abductor muscles. Sometimes when you're scraping, it'll pull right off, but always go through and make sure that they're gone because it'll be super chewy. And then for the shells, we wanna scrub them. Some water, and you just hit it with a little bit of soap. We're gonna scrub out any of the abductor muscle that was inside the shell. And I like to scrape the back and just get out as much sand as I can. To make the horseradish foam, first we're gonna cut up the shallot, slice it thin, and then one clove of garlic. Cut the soap off. Then to prepare the horseradish, peel away any dry skin, cut off the ends of the thing nice and straight, nice and clean, not dry. Go onto a plate, and with the finest side of your box grater, we're gonna grate. The finer you grate horseradish, the more flavor you get out of it. Set off to the side, 10 grams of horseradish. And then we'll save 10 more for horseradish cream for later. Add a little bit of vegetable oil to a pot, and we're gonna sweat the shallot and garlic. And then a pinch of salt. Always add a little bit of salt to every ingredient to make sure that that ingredient has the flavor. Once they're nice and translucent, we're gonna add in our 10 grams of horseradish with a pinch more salt. And then add 100 milliliters of milk. And your oyster liquor. Once it has simmer for five minutes, strain it off. Squeeze as much of the flavor out as you can. Gotta taste it. Tastes pretty good. Just add a little bit of salt. And we're gonna add just a little bit of soy less of that. It's gonna help create nicer bubbles. You need very little. I'm gonna give the bubbles a taste. Keep this off to the side. For horseradish cream, zero five grams of horseradish, 50 grams of creme fraiche. Blitz it up. I like to do it in a small blender to help blend up the horseradish a little bit, but if you don't have a small blender, you can always just mix it in a bowl and pass it. Add a little bit of salt and a splash of sherry vinegar. And then pass it. For the apple mignonette, first we gotta peel, broom while your apple. Last, we're gonna crush 10 peppercorns. Doesn't have to be 10 peppercorns, just think 10, and that's the right amount. To your bowl, add in your crushed mignonette pepper and two ounces of champagne vinegar. And then finish with a pinch of salt. Give it a little mix, let it marinate. To finish, we're gonna simmer the oysters in some champagne. Bring it up to a light simmer. Drop in your oysters. We're looking to just warm them. No more than 30 seconds. Room from the champagne. Right here we have a crushed bed of ice. Place your oyster shells in. Make sure that they stay flat. Go down with the oysters. I like to have the nice round side up. Next, we have our apple mignonette. Make sure to get a little bit of that champagne vinegar in there. Nice big piece of the gelée. A little bit of the horseradish cream. And then last, our horseradish foam. You want to get it nice and foamy, and then you want to break it up so we get nice creamy foam. Usually I like them fairly chilled. I think that's the best way to eat most shellfish. 
but whenever you poach it, just lightly warm it up, it brings out such nice flavors. So let's give this a try. It has so much flavor packed in, from the tartness of the apple to the spiciness of the horseradish, and the sweetness of the champagne, everything is in balance and it really brings out that oyster flavor. And I'm really a big fan of Amuse that have a lot of flavor in the beginning, really wake up everything, let you know what you're about to have. Yeah, these are pretty good. You'll have to try them. If you enjoyed this video, you should watch this next. 